Hello friends and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my Caribbean kitchen. Today I'm making a Chinbegonian favorite, Callaloo. Yes, once again, but this time I'm using chopped frozen spinach since traditional Callaloo bush, also known as dashing bush bhaji or dashing bush leaves or taro leaves, are never readily available at my supermarket here in New York. I will show you how to achieve the very same results of a traditional callaloo in less time. It will really taste like home. Callaloo, for those of you who don't know, is a soupy side dish that is eaten with stews or macaroni pie and is exceptionally delicious and super healthy. I do hope you give this recipe a try. You'll need two 10 ounce packages of frozen chopped spinach which is currently being defrosted here and you'll find it in your freezer section of course you can buy organic or regular whichever is available and that's all the prep work needed for this easy peasy you'll also need a bunch of thyme hot pepper and pumpkin I like using one pound of pumpkin which gives my callaloo an orange color but if you like your callaloo green use less pumpkin to peel the pumpkin, I like cutting it into thin strips which makes the peeling easier and then I cut it into cubes. Squash, calabaza, acorn, any type of pumpkin will work in this dish. You may also use frozen pumpkin. You'll also need half a pound of okra and I'm using fresh okra here but in the past I've been known to use frozen okra to save a whole lot of time. To prepare the okra, you cut off the top and then cut it into pieces. You'll also need one medium carrot, finely diced or chopped, one stalk of celery, finely diced, one medium onion, finely diced, four scallions, two to three tablespoons of minced garlic, and three tablespoons of green seasoning, one tablespoon extra virgin olive oil. I'll also be using coconut milk, and you can use canned coconut milk, powdered coconut milk, coconut blood, but today I'm using 14 ounces of frozen grated coconut. I'm going to put it in the blender along with four cups of hot water to make the coconut milk. Today I'm using the crab we bought in the recent food haul. But keep in mind that you can use chicken back, chicken neck, chicken feet, or the traditional favorite, pre-cooked pigtail or pre-cooked salted beef. And you can use any type of bone in meat that would lend a whole lot of flavor to this dish. And all those options can certainly be eliminated to keep this callaloo vegan or vegetarian. It's quite satisfying on its own. To prepare the crabs, you need to have a scoring pad or a scrubbing brush to thoroughly remove any dirt or mud from the crab. Now that the prep work has been completed, the rest is fairly simple. We'll just add all the ingredients to the pot. In goes the crab and the defrosted spinach. Next, we'll add the pumpkin, the okra and the carrots. The chopped onions and celery go in. Followed by the chopped scallions, the green seasoning and the minced garlic. Not forgetting the sprigs of thyme, which is a must for me. The whole hot peppers because we do not want to cut it to release the heat and the extra virgin olive oil. And one of the most important ingredients in this dish is the coconut milk. Coconut milk makes the callaloo creamy and luxurious and brings it all together. And I'll also top it off with some salt and I'm using Himalayan salt here. And I know I've been accused of being unrelatable because of the ingredients that I use. But I use Himalayan salt because of the health benefits. If you're using table salt, you may need to use less. Next, I'll place the pot over a very low flame. I'll cover 
and let it simmer for about an hour or until all the ingredients are cooked and soft. I'll stir every 10 to 15 minutes to mix and to prevent any sticking at the bottom. We are having our callaloo with stewed oxtail today and I have already gotten this started. If you need the recipe for the stewed oxtail, I've already posted it on this channel. I'll leave the link below. Always remember to remove the hot pepper before stirring because we risk making this dish very spicy or too spicy. It's been boiling for 45 minutes and everything's melting nicely. Taste for salt. Cover it and cook for another 15 minutes. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to fish out the crab and then I'll swizzle the callaloo to give it a smooth texture. And blend all the ingredients. And if you don't want it too spicy, now is a good time to remove the peppers. This one is broken. Mmm, smells nice and peppery right now. Which may not be a good thing for the husband. So a whole lot of crabs. Catch the crab. All right, what one more? Ooh, no mess. So now I'll take the swizzle stick, or you can use an immersion blender, and spin. Process it until it reaches the consistency that you love. It could be a smooth consistency or chunky. It's all up to you. Or very, very smooth fine almost. I'm going to swizzle. Vigorously. The heat is on low. And it's coming in nicely. The flavors are combining. It's becoming one cohesive flavor. Now we'll give it a taste and see what else it needs. This texture might be good for you, or you may want it finer, more fine. What's the word, Dari? A smoother texture. Give it a taste. Needs a little more salt for my liking. So that's about three and a half teaspoons of salt so far. Swizzle it some more. We'll take off the stove and it's done. 
It's been cooking for exactly one hour and about three minutes. So that's it. Crab callaloo made with frozen chopped spinach. You'll never know we didn't use the dashing bush bhaji to cook this. Give it a taste. Mm, it's nice and creamy. A little chunky. I taste the crab, the coconut milk, slight pepper. All the flavors are blended nicely. Once you've achieved a texture that you like, you can return the crab to the pot. Uh, decide whether you want the pepper in there or not. Maybe not. I'll leave this on the side. Mix it in and that's it. Trinidad Callaloo. Come and get it. And that's it for today, my friends. Trinidad Callaloo is an exceptional dish and I really do hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed my cooking or learned something new today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with your family and friends. Please tag me on social media if you try any of my recipes and subscribe if you wish to see more. Until next time, bye bye.